All right, Cats Ninja, Sensei Lance here again with Sensei Alejandro with another intro to training equipment with my absolute favorite piece of equipment to work with, the tie pads. Okay, I don't know how Sensei Alejandro feels about the tie pads. I know he's a, I know he's a fan. All right, so what we're going to do now, like I said, this is intro to tie pads. Now, if you don't know what tie pads are, these are tie pads. They, they come in pairs, or they should. They come in pairs, and if you notice, uh, I wear them kind of like the focus mitts that we've talked about in past videos, but if you notice, they're a little longer, they're a lot thicker, they go down my forearm, and they have more straps. Now, the great thing about the tie pads is uh, they're like focus mitts where you can work on your combos and your techniques and your accuracy. But at the same time, since they're so big, so thick, you can start adding some power to them also, to your combos. All right? That's why we use them a lot. I think as far as coaching training tools, this is about as, uh, as close as you're going to get to making your training a real fight without really sparring or fighting. Okay? So what we're going to do today is I'm going to just introduce you to this piece of equipment. And, and I really... I'm going to go out on a limb here. If I had to say, look, if you were going to buy one piece of equipment to train with and you had a good training partner to train with, this would be the one to get, would be the tie pads. And we're going to show you why today, at least since Alejandro is. Okay? Now, first of all, when you get the tie pads, how to wear the tie pads, because I see a lot of people do this incorrectly. A lot of good tie pads come with two big straps on the back that you can cinch up and adjust to fit your arm perfectly. And they also have this handle here. Now here's where I usually see the mistake. I usually see people try to grab it and they get their thumb all in here thinking, hey, I got a better grip. Well, the problem is with that, if these tie pads get to swinging or maybe I hold it incorrectly or since they Alejandro just kind of hits it a little wrong, which can happen in training when you're working on new combos. If this pad twists, that could injure my thumb. If you see, if it twists, it could injure my thumb. So. I grip it with my four fingers and I keep my thumb on the outside of the side, just like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're not going to practice any techniques today that you don't already know because you've seen them in past videos. But what we're going to do is we're just going to show you how the tie pads work. Okay, now, as you remember from the focus mitt video, when it comes to punching and elbowing, his left hand is going to go to my left hand. His right hand is going to go to my right hand. Okay, so from here, we're just going to start with a regular jab cross. Push, push, good. Okay, from here. Push, push, good. Push, push, good. Now, from here, we can add the hook in there too, the lead hook that we've practiced. Okay, so we're going to throw a jab cross hook. Notice how I turn the pad. It's here. Push, 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 just like that. Now, here's the cool part. Okay, with the big shields like this, if I turn and I hold them to my side, I put them together like so. Look what I just created. I just created a shield, which, what do we like to do to shields around here? That's right, we like to kick them. So from here, Sensei can throw a roundhouse kick. Just like that, hitting with his shin bone. Again, that feels good. Good. Now, we can put those together with our combo. So now from here, all the techniques we just practiced, jab, cross, hook, That's gonna, the, that hook is gonna set up our hips for that round kick. So we're gonna be here. Push, 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 And notice how Sensei got to throw with speed, accuracy, and power. I like that. Let's do that again. I love that around there. And also, since the pads are so thick, these are a lot safer than whenever you're going to deal with like elbows and knees. It's like from here, since I can throw a real hard elbow, and it doesn't hurt my arm. Whereas with focus, focus mitts, that might jam my wrist or something. From here, you can throw that elbow. That's nice. Okay, let's put it all together. Jab, cross, hook, roundhouse kick, right elbow. Here we go. Push, push, push. Hey. One more. Push, push, push. Push. Hey. And that right there is good, powerful training. This is a great tool for anti-abduction training, unit learning how to strike, and of course, anti-bullying training. I highly recommend them. All right, y'all. Go. Try to get you some tie pads, try to get you some boxing gloves, and get you a responsible adult that can help you train. All right, y'all. Have a good day. Let's